14th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our eyes are fixed on the Lord, pleading for His mercy. The Gospel according to Mark 6 1-6. And going out from thence, He went into His own country, and His disciples followed Him. And when the Sabbath was come, He began to teach in the synagogue, and many hearing Him were in admiration at His doctrine, saying, How came this man by all these things? And what wisdom is this that is given to him, and such mighty works as are wrought by his hands? Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, the brother of James, and Joseph, and Jude, and Simon? Are not also his sisters here with us? And they were scandalized in regard of him. And Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor, but in his own country, and in his own house, and among his own kindred. And he could not do any miracles there, only that he cured a few that were sick, laying his hands upon them. And he wondered because of their unbelief, and he went through the villages round about teaching. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Mark 6 1-6 recounts Jesus' visit to his hometown of Nazareth and his reception by the people there. Here's what transcribed. 1. Jesus returned to Nazareth. Jesus returns to Nazareth, his hometown, and begins to teach in the synagogue on the Sabbath. This event highlights Jesus' itinerant ministry and his commitment to proclaiming the message of the Kingdom of God. 2. Response of the People The people of Nazareth are astonished by Jesus' teaching, recognizing His wisdom and the miraculous works He has performed elsewhere. However, their amazement quickly turns to skepticism and offense, questioning how someone they know as a local carpenter could possess such authority and perform such deeds. 3. Rejection in His Hometown Jesus responds to the people's lack of faith by stating, Prophets are not without honor, except in their hometown, and among their own kin, and in their own house. He acknowledges the common phenomenon of prophets facing rejection in their own communities, a fate he experiences firsthand in Nazareth. 4. Limitation of Miracles Mark notes that Jesus is unable to perform many miracles in Nazareth due to the people's unbelief. Their lack of faith hinders the manifestation of God's power among them, underscoring the importance of faith in experiencing God's miraculous works. 5. Jesus' Response Despite the people's rejection, Jesus continues his ministry elsewhere, teaching in the surrounding villages. His response demonstrates his unwavering commitment to fulfilling his mission, even in the face of opposition and disbelief. In summary, today's Gospel portrays Jesus' visit to Nazareth, his reception by the people there, and their subsequent rejection of him due to their lack of faith. It underscores the importance of faith in experiencing God's power and highlights Jesus' perseverance in the face of rejection. So let us pray. Heavenly God, as we reflect on the rejection Jesus faced in his hometown, we pray for hearts open to receive your word and your presence. Grant us the humility to recognize your truth, even when it comes from unexpected sources. Help us to overcome doubt and skepticism, that we may fully embrace your Son, Jesus Christ, as our Savior and Lord. May our faith be strong and may we always respond to your call with obedience and trust. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.